Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I have a very small haul from Target and Blondie's. And if you know um, the nail polish part of me, Blondie's is my local store where I get a lot of my nail polish from. And I had to go out there and get a new bottle of Ace Tone, but I first wanted to speak of this. This is why I went out today. I was actually going to go to the Target on Burkhart where I live which includes a home goods store that I haven't shopped in yet, but I have um, went inside. It includes our TJ Maxx, our Kohl's, our, our Walmart, which I was going to exchange my deodorant with the broken nozzle. It also includes the Ulta, which I was trying to stay out of because as you know, I am after the last Urban Decay Game of Thrones eyeliner and that sword shaped brush. Um, and I had points off, but I'm trying to be good because I tend to go on Ulta and buy more than I should. But I saw in the Target ad that these were $2.99 again. And I had mentioned these a while back, um, a few videos back, um, that I saw the Game of Thrones Oreos in our local Schnucks for $4.89. I made the comment how I looked at them and thought they were Star Wars. I did not know about the Game of Thrones, and I am not a fan of the movie, so I don't want to... Um, giving anyone that impression i didn't even know about the movie until i went to work as i said before and was talking to a few of my co-workers who are indeed fans so because that co-worker she's a nurse she missed out on these i went ahead and picked up some of these and i got an extra pack for her and i didn't know if i'd have another friend or two so i actually picked up five of these today the target on burkhardt told me they didn't have any now that might not have been true because sometimes stores will tell you they don't have something and you go ahead and go in there and then they do have it so i didn't want to take the chance just because i was really truly trying to stay out of the stores that i was in so i did call our target on first avenue now they are um the original they're not the original target the first one that we had was on lawndale then they built the brand new one. So then a lot of the things that came from the first Target that they closed down to build a new one for went out to First Avenue. Also, a lot of items that maybe were newer that they phased out that you cannot find at the Burkhart store, you can find at the First Avenue store. And I have to make sure I say that right. So, for example, <laughs> They didn't have these at the Burkhardt store because that is the newest and more popular one. We have had it for a few years now. I'd say maybe 17 years or so. But it is still the popular, you know what I mean, main store. Whereas the one on First Avenue is the older store. A lot of times things go there. So I always think to look there. So I called them. And these indeed were $2.99. And they had nine of them left. They held three for me, which I didn't think they would. They probably won't now, um, but I noticed when I showed my friend at work that, do you guys know these are on eBay for as high as $11.99 all the way up to $89? So I was really happy that Target brought them back. Some of you, like Adam Nichols, told me that your Walmart is full of them, and I'm very happy about that. I don't like for the ones that take these and sell them overpriced on eBay, but I do like that for the ones that may have wanted them so bad that they were almost willing to pay that price. I do understand that people are having Game of Thrones parties and things like that, and that's where these come in handy. So these right here, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this since my phone is acting up, but I did learn later that they had the pictures on the back of the cookie. Um, hopefully you can see that. I think one of them is a face and one of them is an eagle or something. So. I won't say too much because I honestly don't know, but I was interested from the makeup point. So if you live in Indiana and you can get to the Target on First Avenue or you really want these or even check with your people if you follow Instagram like Adam Nichols said his Walmart were full of them. I didn't ask Adam um, where, where he lived at. Um, but just check with some people because these are coming back and see our store had them so maybe certain stores are getting them you know what i mean through the run of this movie i don't know because as you know i keep crossing it up with that movie with the katniss and the giver and all that but i did go ahead and i picked up five of these and one of these will be for a nurse at work and i do want to say before i carry on i've got stuff all over me here please forgive my busted hands as you can see 
You've often heard me um, talk about how I've been getting damage at work. And as you can see, without nail polish, my nails are short. They were only a smidge longer than this, maybe just twice this length or whatever. But as you can see, and you probably saw in the video before, I have areas where I couldn't get the polish out and I stopped because I rub and I rub and I rub. Now tonight I will go over my hands again with polish remover and that should take care of this. And my hands are busted or as I like to say under construction. So I will be using my China Glaze Calcium Gel Fortifier. I have a couple of bottles of this and I did speak about this a few years back. So if you are like me and you want your hands to have some treatment, try this. They do still make this. I got mine at Blondie's for like $7 at the time. If you get it at Ulta or someplace like that, it might be $10. But what I will do for the next 10 days, I'm going to try to leave the polish alone um, just to get my tips in line. Because even though I have no length right here, I have a nick right here. And we have a door at my job that really tears up my hands. And being in the med cart, if you're a nurse or anyone that handles medicine or just boxes and packages, you know what I mean. A lot of times what I'll often do when my nails are this short, I will wear a polish such as something light like this. And I will put my different toppers on top. Or another thing that I like to do, depending on the season, is I will wear a dark polish like this. Or I will take a polish like this and put um, fairy dust on top of it. Sorry about that. My apologies. My phone rings at the darndest of times. Anyway, what I was saying is I will often take a color like this. Because this is summer, this is as dark as I will go. And I've been trying to clean up my cuticle area with this. So I will do all of this again tonight. And the reason I want to try to get all of this polish out of here and just leave my nails bare for about 10 days or so is to work on them, strengthen them. And I want to do some French manicure looks. Another thing that I will do when they're this short, if I happen to do nail stamping, and I've shared this with you guys before, I take a really intricate image. When your nails are really, really short, you can still do nail stamping. Just take a really intricate image, something like this. Or another one that you guys have seen me use on here is this one right here. It's kind of a hound's tooth, and I'm going to try to hold that. So see like this one, this one, this one. These are all good for real short nails. So... I will get off of the nail thing and show you the rest of what I got from Target. Now, I did go ahead. They had this Cheesecake Factory Raspberry Swirl Cheesecake for $1.48. I do realize they put this kind of stuff on sale when it's nearing expiration. And needless to say, I was hungry when I got out there. So, I'm going to try this out. I'm not going to try it out here on camera. But I am going to open it. I believe it was frozen when I found it in the store. Um, so I've kind of had it out the entire time that I've been out. And the next thing that I'm going to share with you that I got is they have this in rose water, I think. Tina D. Valicious saw a um, review that I did on this and he was the one that told me. And that was a while back, probably last year. So we are just now getting the rose water one. And I almost got it, but I really do favor this one. And I might go back and get it at a later date. But see, a lot of you that live in cities, you guys get stuff way before we do. And it can often be a long time before we get it. These next items I purchased for my daughter. And I almost didn't because I have lots of toothpaste and toothbrushes around here. But I don't think I have any more of this. And this is one that she prefers. Also, I saw where there's charcoal and coconut oil toothpaste. In Crest, I believe, maybe. I took the picture in my phone. I'm going to post it on Instagram because I don't remember, but I had no clue, you guys. Charcoal, toothpaste, and coconut oil. But my daughter favors this one, so I got that for her. And then I wanted to get her the purple one, but it was open, so they only had one because she likes purple and her birthstone is amphious. But I wanted to get her this little deodorant ball. I have one, but I haven't used it yet, but I plan on putting it in the makeup bag. Um, that I got for her that I showed y'all on here. And I'm trying to see if I got anything else from Target. I don't think that I did. I think that was the only few things that I got from Target. And I decided to come home and not go out to Burkhart. So that was a good thing. But now I'm going to share with you what I got from Blondie's. And they had some nail polishes 
that I didn't even know that they had. So I really needed to stay out of there. It is the China Glaze line. And I do not know what collection they are from since I have yet to look them up on YouTube. But I did go ahead and I got the one of the colors that I was missing from the Tokyo line. So there's three more I'm still missing. The Something Ramen Noodles, which they had. The Sushi Roll one they did not have. And something vending machine so this one is harajuku get this color now i do have colors similar to this and i have one called india mood i don't know if it was from the india collection they had but i really do like this um and this is a color that i would like to do a french manicure too with as well when i get a little bit more length so i wanted to go ahead and get that i needed another bottle of sesh v you guys um know that whenever i haul sesh v i usually haul two or three of these at a time I promised my coworker that I would bring her a mat and a bottle of Sesh Feed for her nail stamping. I thought I had three or four. Um, I have two that are open here that are nearly at the end, and apparently I only had two. So I gave her one, and then this is my replacement one, but I like this for nail stamping as well as the HK Girl. Now, my Blondies has ink pens. I wish I could have got like three of these. I, I didn't want to ask for three. But they let me have one. They have their own ink pens now. And I love this. And as you know, sadly, like I said, I didn't know. But the January of, I think, the year before, the owner, Miss Lisa, passed away. And I was shocked. I was hurt because I hadn't been in there in a long time. So her family and her good friends have kept her business going. And I love that because it is a wonderful place to go. I think these pens are beautiful. And I really think that she would have loved this. So, the rest of what I got was this. This right here is my Ace Tone of Choice. It is probably the only one I haul on here with you guys. I get the pink one that's NA, which one of you told me that it stood for non-abrasive um, because I was like, how can it be non-acetone if it's got acetone in the ingredients? And one of you told me it meant non-abrasive. I've been buying that forever. I also use the Zoya Remove. But she, the co-worker at work that I got into nail stamping liked my bottle. I hadn't used it here at home except for the just clean plates and she offered to buy it from me. Um, so I told her she could because I would go and get some more. Blondie sometimes runs out of this. And I talked to someone in there a while ago that said they would keep it in stock when I said I liked it for nail stamping. And that's been a while ago. So that person may or may not be there. But I always tell them I love this one. And I try to buy as many of these as I can. I have two tall bottles of each of these but I didn't want to break into them yet and then the bottle that I had this size was the last one so since we get paid um, next Thursday I'm going to go back in there and try to get two of these and two of the pink ones and then one of each of the tall ones because I try to make sure I keep this the only other acetone that I've used on my plates is a Target Up and Up and I really prefer this brand so the last three things that I have to share with you, and if any of you know anything about this collection, do let me know because I plan on looking up the information on this. She showed me this one. I asked if it was going to be like the fairy dust because of how it looks. And I want to hold this so that it focuses in right here. Um, and I didn't want to not get it because I only had two. And this one is Wildflower Hour. So these look like fall colors. And I don't know if they are from a movie because I have not been keeping up with my China Glaze. And I need to because I really do. And China Glaze here is like $4.99 a bottle. If I go to Ulta, it's $7.99. Um, the next shades that I got, I got these because of how they were on the swatch. Because as you can see, this one here has... Um, a little gold glitter or whatever in there and at first i almost didn't get it but i loved how they looked on the swatch so even if i don't wear these till the fall i can't wait and i am going to look these up to see what collection they are from so let's see if that will focus in on there i hate when i do this and it takes a long time so that's bronze ambition and i don't even recall hearing about these um I want that to come in there so I don't know maybe if I move but I wanted to go ahead and get these and this one here is glow worthy and these just look gorgeous now this one might be the one that I try that will show for you when I get a little bit of length 
So I don't know anything about these collections. And my hands look so horrible, guys. I'm so sorry. And it's funny because someone asked me why I said my hands were busted. And I said they are because I often ask someone else, you know, about their hands when they look kind of funny. My friends, that is. And I'm like, well, mine are busted too, but I like to say under construction. So these are the only three polishes that I got. That was all that I got and all that I wanted to share with you. Um, so that was it. But if you guys know anything about these Oreos, or again, if you live in the Indiana area, um, don't buy these off of eBay because they're taking advantage of people that want these for parties and things like that. Um, and like I said, I've got five packages. I'm going to take one or two of them into work. Um, but I just don't see why they would charge $89. I don't see how they can get away with that. But they're regular Oreos. Some people have said they have a little bit of extra cream. And I don't even know how to pronounce this. White Walker, House of Lannister, House of Targaryen. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And House Stark. But I don't know if I had them upside down or whatever I did. But I'm going to eat one of these. So anyway, until the next time. Everyone have a great day.